guys, um, how you all doing? Welcome back to Kuruku Travels, <laughs> Kuruku TV. Okay, guys, so today, um, another day, another vlog, you know. So today I'm going to the city of Pescara, okay? I want to see what it looks like. I want to know how it takes day <laughs> for my people. Maybe they don't understand what they talk. But you know that this video is going a long way. And a lot of people are going to be viewing it. So um, I'm just leaving home now. So I'm going to Pescara. It's very, very far from my location here in Milan. And um, let's see how it goes, okay? So please join me here. Um, thumbs up, subscribe, and drop your comments down below. Let's see what's going up. I'll see you guys. This is um, the train station of Treviglio, as you can see. Very beautiful. This is uh, at night what it looks like. So I just missed my train, but I'll wait for the next one. So that's the one I'm going to use to go to Milano Centrale again. <laughs> I thought there was a train direct from here to Pescara. So I still have to go to Milano Centrale to um, pick a train that will take me to Pescara okay so that's what it is all right guys so hey you I, i'm just telling you so you don't make the same mistake that i just made now instead of me to go to milano street i thought there was a train stationed here that would take me uh, to pescara direct but there is none so you still have to go to milano centrale that is central milan that's where you get the train that will take you to pescara this is um trevillo train station and this is what it looks like in the evening. I'm making the film um, right at um, 7.14. That's 40 minutes after 7. Um, this is Treviglio. You can see very beautiful train station. Um, just take a look around. I think there's a train. An incoming. Okay. This is a load carrier, as you can see. Yeah. pictures for your passport as you can see um, okay so these are the things you get here um, just go inside instead of calling a <laughs> going to a photographer to make a picture you just come in here close in and um, you take a picture for your document or whatever thing you need so this uh, machine has all you need to give you that's special as you can see you can see so that's how the machine functions all right in this um trevillo train station so it's a very beautiful place and uh, i think it's, um, it's a good one as you can see so, trevillo let me go and take my train peace out okay, you see guys Right. Verona, because this, this train is actually coming from uh, Verona Portanova to Milano Central. Here we go. Okay, let me take a seat here. I don't want to um, take too much stress, but let me get a seat here. In this train, you can get, um, okay, this is the waste bin here, and um, you can also get um, a charging port here. This is a USB and this is the normal 230 volts, okay, in this train. Very comfortable, as you can see. Now, to Milano Centrale, I'll be taking 
taking another train to my location, Brooklyn, which is uh, Pescara. It's arrived, you can see a lot of people right here in this uh, central station. So I've got to check my train to make sure I don't miss out. Right now, early, morning, early in the morning, they have not opened anywhere yet. Probably because the cleaners are not, are not um, at work. Maybe when it's daytime, they are going to come. And the, this place is down. The train stations are up. So you have to take the escalator here to go upstairs. Okay, to assess the... So this is the platforms we are here. So I just got um, a ticket here to take a woman to my destination. So the journey continues. It's early morning here. And um, off we go. So this is Pescara. 
this is what it looks like the train station is big actually as you can see Ciao, buongiorno, per favore vado in... oh, scusa. Alright guys, um, this is the video of the Scara. And as you can see behind me, there is a very big sea, a large sea here. Behind me, and um, <laughs> I think I will take one of these boats to the store. Take a tour know, on this sea. Wow, there are many ships there. This is seaside here in this uh, Pescara. As you can see behind me, there is a very large sea. That's a uh, just like uh, we have it in Libya. That's the sea there. So from there, I don't know what happens, but I'll try and get a uh, yeah, proper information on this area. You can see. Very nice place. And um, this is the back of it up there. I'm just making a, taking a walk. And uh, let's see, let's see. Let's see what's up here. So, Pescara is a very beautiful city and uh, it's very expensive. But I must get somebody to question and ask how expensive it is to live in this kind of uh, environment. But so these are hotels. Some of these buildings are hotels. So when you lodge here, you have to um, have to take a look, you know, that seaside walk, that seaside look, and um, all that. You can see it's very sandy as well. So you want to come here, I think uh, you're going to enjoy the, the view. As you can see behind me, the sea is flowing. More details to come your way. <laughs> this is Pescara. So for those of you who have never been here, it's a very good city in case you are relocating or somebody is calling you to come to Pescara. <laughs> I think you should take that off a very quickly. You can see the sea. Wow. You can see it. Al mare. <laughs> so this is a beach somehow. This is a beach. I feel like relocating to Pescara. <laughs> so Milan or not to get this kind of thing. So guys, as you can see, this place is very, very beautiful and I'm standing at the seaside. The sun is set. Okay? The sun is set as you can see behind me. And um it's um, exactly 7.30 a.m. in the morning. And um, this is the beach here. As you can see, nobody is um, um, extorting money from me or asking me to pay a dime you know, for being here. I can stay here for as long as I wish. I'm just imagine if this was to be in Nigeria. <laughs> they would have built everything here, messed up the whole place. You know. But look at Very free. Nobody, I, I don't even see anybody. Nobody can say, oh, come and pay me money for coming to the beach. Just imagine the beaches in Lagos, how they will be extorting people. So, it's um, a very nice one here in the city of Pescara. So, in case you want to come and hang out uh, during summer. But it's a bit cold now. It's a mix of um, cold and, um, you know, the sun. Because uh, we are leaving the summer to... So the, the 
proper heat is going. We are still having a, you know, a cold, so you can't really enter the sea to chill out. But if it were to be a proper summer, uh -huh, you'll be able to swim or go and have a cold bath to you know, wave away the um, heat. But now the weather has changed. So <laughs> if you're coming to Pescara, so guys um i left the seaside with um this our brother here um they had to come pick me up from the seaside um the man is an Igbo man he's married to a white woman they came in from the united kingdom um just to relax in italy and i just hung out at the seaside you know that um, the united kingdom is um very cold so as at this time um the cold here wasn't um, affecting them that much you can see he's wearing a short knicker so they weren't feeling it the way we that lives in uh, italy was feeling it in fact that morning was mad i was very shivering shivering okay i was shivering because of the way that it was very cold in the morning so they took me to where they um they booked an apartment so i need to go check out how much it cost you know to get those apartments these are the children lovely kid boy <laughs> um he was happy to see me you know he was surprised and um the senior one as well okay it was um a nice one having um to meet them and they That's went back to the seaside and then um, all that <laughs> you have to take a I almost won, but um, it was cold. I didn't want to do that. I wasn't planning for a swimming. So this is the family, and then um, we went out uh, again. That's how we all went, okay? So stay tuned, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Let's go there. Where you going?
So I met this um, woman by the seaside and I was um, asking her about uh, Pescara, you know, what it costs to live here and everything and um, she was giving us um, the information. I actually lost the audio to this particular video, that's why I'm making a voiceover to back it up. Um, I had to interview her by this side, you know. Uh, the tourists um, that usually come here um, has all left because it's cold now. So it's just um, the natives that um, are just coming around, uh, maybe one or two persons uh, to hang out by the seaside. Okay, it was booming during the um, the summer, but now um, all the people who took ferry has gone back to work. A lot of people came, usually come here to hang out from um, Germany, from UK, from Canada, from USA. Just name it. They usually come here to hang out, you know, just um, on tourism, okay? But for now, right now, all the businesses are shut and all the people, almost everybody has left. So it's just remaining um, maybe a few people who just um, are coming late and the people who uh, live in this uh, vicinity who just come to want to have a walk or take a look at the sea. That's, um, that's it here, okay? So... Thank you guys and um, I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe and you know share this video. God bless. This water today we dry here. We don't come, we don't come. It's good. Now I have to walk. Red to dead. See? Oh no fishes. Oh deep, 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 deep. Oh my god. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> it's getting deeper, man. Dang. Oh. Um, uh. So to me, Pescara is a very beautiful city. Uh, as you can see, um, if we are to explore all the areas, you see that um, it makes a lot of sense. Good buildings and everything in place. Um, I, I, I like the place anyways, the Pescara, so if you want to come here, um, you just get prepared, come here, and um, <laughs> in case you want to relocate, I think it's a very beautiful city, and um, kudos to um, Pescarians, it's a very nice place, mm. and then with the, with the bar beach there, it gives you a sense of, um, you know, relaxation, uh, you know, I'm on top of the mountain, and then you can take a look and then you see down there how it looks like you can see from this top here you can now see the sea endless right there okay it's a very nice view i love it very very much but um it's all the same shot kudos to it so i hope you guys like this video i actually have a part two of it but let me get to know how much it costs to stay here all right stay tuned yeah. <laughs> did they drop the tea anyhow for here but this place is uh, local. You know. I don't know, sir. Sure. <laughs> Error. Yeah, they are disposing of everything anyhow here. Anyhow, yaga yaga. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Guys, this house cost um, um, 500 pounds. This is the house. And then it has um, enough space, 500 pounds for four days. Hmm. So let me take you through it. So in case you want to book online, but I'm going to ask him the website um, where you made the booking. You can see from here, if in case you have cars, you can park it. There's a lot of space, very spacious. And uh, we proceed upstairs. Okay, so this is a three bedroom apartment. You can see. I'm very spacious. There's a bed here and TV design everything. Wi-Fi. Everything is in place. This is a bed. Uh, this is the chair inside and all that. So this uh Everything is well organized. And, um, this is the dining here, I believe. This is the dining table. And then you have the bedroom here. Bedroom here. I think very spacious. Mm. So this is the bedroom here. So, what's the system here? Sound system here in the room four. I don't know, sure. But all the same, um, this a um, bedroom. Okay, this is a bedroom. So, I think everything is spacious. Uh, but does he really want this uh, another wardrobe here? Or is that all necessary? What's this here? Okay, it's laundry room. Ah, oh, okay, it's dark though. That's a washing machine too. And I think that the dryer is at the top. Then the down is a washing machine. Okay, so there's another room upstairs, but it's locked. Out. It's locked though. So this, ah, uh, you can see. So. All this together costs 300 pounds. No, 500 pounds. Um, and this is uh, the city of Pescara. Okay, so out here you can take, you have a, um, a very good view from the frontage here. And then this is it. So this is your compound and all that. So I don't know. Let me know through the comment section whether it's worth the money. Okay. Whether it's worth the money. But the environment though, the um, the roads are old. Very, very old. Like, very, very old. And they need maintenance. And let me know what you think about it. There are trees everywhere. And then there's a little bush there. <laughs> To, you know keep the environment green so that's it here let me know through the comment section what you think about it I think it's a very lovely environment but to me it's expensive <laughs> I'll see you guys on the next one peace out ciao so guys that's it um, I'm done here um, so I'll be heading back to the train station of Pescara where I'll be boarding a train back to Milano but there is a second part to this video so I would like you guys to watch it I'm gonna upload it next um, it's about the Halloween because I was surprised uh, that day was Halloween as well so I met a lot of um, Italian guys who were you know celebrating the Halloween uh, near the train station and I spent a lot of time with them during that night so guys watch out for that very video it's lovely and fun field peace out god bless ciao